Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to extract JSON data from an API using the pagination rules. Normally when we are extracting data from an API or big chunks of data, it will not be given to us all at the same time. It will be given to us in pages. So in order to tackle this, let's have here two examples. The first one without pagination and the second one with pagination. So for the first one, we didn't put any pagination. We are extracting the data from an API endpoint here. And let's imagine that we have already our result with a size of 10 megabytes. So this 10 megabytes, of course, I already know it's part of the total data that we want or that we would like to extract. So in order to do this it's let's clone this pipeline i already did it and and if we check the pagination rules here we have two properties absolute url and end condition so let's check our example to see what this means if we go to our example this is the json that we would extract from the api and we see that the first property here is results and if we go at the end of our json let's say result which is not finishing here we will always see in our case that for example we have the next page under this links property uh, but for your use case it could be not like this it could be you know, under a field that it's called next page same as for the results uh, here up um, above so it's it could not be results but it could be i don't know output so having in mind this example and in order to save some time what this means is the following so just run the pipeline same as you did for here but in the pagination rules we say whenever there is some link in under this field under this links next property that we had at the end of this JSON, keep looking, keep looping also as well the the data, and end only when the result here property is empty. Here we have that the results have some a list of properties etc. But in the moment that will this will stop to to come, the results will have an empty space here. So this is how ADF will know that it needs to stop. If we run this uh, pipeline and we go, we should see a bigger amount of data here. And as we see here is 254. So we know that we made it and we configured it good. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching.